University Pathways here at James Nash is a great opportunity for students to really find out what their interests are. So just for example, with our year 11s currently, we've spent this first term really looking at all the range of university courses out there. We've been looking at the various universities, mainly in Queensland. And now students have selected um, a subject or a course that they're going to try uh, for free um, this coming semester. I enjoyed doing my course because it gave me a taste of what university might be like in the future. I really enjoyed being able to do the Head Start program um, while at school because it gave me sort of a bit of flexibility and freedom and because the system is already sort of paid for and you don't have to pay anything, um, it took a lot of pressure off um, having, you know, I could do the studies without stressing about failing or costs or, so it was really easy in that way and it gave me a lot of skills with how to write, write assignments and, and time management was a big thing that I had to sort of quickly pick up and learn and, and how to use different technologies. So uh, there's an array of different things that I learnt from it, um, but that's just a couple. So one of the things I enjoyed was the individual learning because I am a student who prefers to learn by myself a lot of the time. I like to have the guidance of the teacher but as far as things go I like to do things myself. So that was one of the things that I really enjoyed. And also screenwriting is something that I can use in the future. I'm not too sure what I want to do after school but the skills and all of the creative process behind it is something that's really going to help me after school. So there's so many benefits to actually completing a university course while you're still here at school. Firstly, you get to find out if it's what you actually like and enjoy. You get to find out about a field of knowledge, an area of study, um, before you have to commit to a three-year degree at university. So it's a great way to find out if that's really what you want to do. Some things that I found um, particularly challenging during the Head Start course was um, the different style of learning which is involved in the process. So a big thing which was very daunting at first was the fact that you have, you learn content and you do the assessment at the same time. So here at school we very much sort of do content first and then assessment, whereas um, in the uni process you do it all at the same time and very much you have to sort of be on the ball with different things um, to overcome this, what really helps is just going to your teachers, going to the support around you and really making the effort to get on top of it. Um, also too, like the, the uh, what's it called, the, the marking rubrics are a little bit vague, so having that extra support to just sort of give you that guidance is really helpful. Um, so my advice for anyone thinking about doing a Head Start is to do what you want to do, don't do what you know, you think people might want you to do or what even might help. Doing something that you actually enjoy will make it so much easier to work on it, especially when you have a busy schedule with school, having something that you actually like, you will always put the time to work towards that Head Start. Uh, the University Head Start program allowed me to choose what I was more interested in and it personalised my studies here in high school. Even if I don't decide to go to this uni later on, I can still use this course as credit towards the uni that I do choose. Students receive two QCE points for every university course that they complete. So this really helps them to make sure that they're going to get that final school certificate. The other great advantage is, is if they do two university courses, that then is used to calculate their ATAR score, which is their, their ranking to get into university. And the way that the ranking works is a C or a pass at university is actually counted as at a higher rate than a C in a subject here at school. So by joining the University Pathways and if students decide to complete two subjects, they can actually enhance their ATAR by several points and give them a greater opportunity to get into their first preference course if they decide to go to uni straight away.